All right, so hear me out. I have an idea for what we should do during October. Right. We're going to call them... Vaguely Spooky. Sure. And I'll add in like a, a lightning bolt effect. Do you know how to do that yet? No, I'll figure it out. Okay. So this is Until Dawn. Everyone and every man and their dog has played this. Or watched it. I have not. You've not played it, you've not watched it. I have somehow managed to avoid it. Yes. I assume it's because I don't like horror games that much. I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, so I don't like horror games. Mm -hmm. Because I get bored. See, the way I see it, if you get scared... You go, ooh, and then pull out your shotgun and shoot whatever's trying to scare you. Right. I also run into the issue of every scary thing I've ever watched, all the people in it are idiots. Oh, you're going to love this game. We're in a haunted house. Oh, no, what do we do? We see, I would leave the house. Yeah. Most of them go like, no, let's go to the basement and find out what's in there. Yeah, this game is basically built on the premise of people being idiots. Okay. So, I know that you have to control a group of people. Yep. And that you basically get to choose who lives or dies based um, on your decisions. It's not yeah. always up to you. Sometimes it's just random things that happen. Well, they're randomly controlled things. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, everything that happens, you've you've done that, basically. Okay. One way or another. So, M's going to be at the controls because she has played the game before. Mm -hmm. And that makes I know, sense. I've watched the game a buttload of times. Okay. And I have no idea, but I'm going to choose what happens, and Em's going to do it. And I'm probably going to end up crying at the end, because you will have killed everybody by accident. Just to let everybody know, I consider myself true neutral. I have no strong feelings one way or the other. And that means that I have no ill will towards anyone at the moment. But if at any point they annoy me, I'm going to try and kill them. That's not true neutral. That's how true neutral works. I have my own code of ethics. That's not true neutral. It's true neutral. Anyway, shout out to Freeze Blast for lending us this game. Freeze Blast! Don't do that. Why? Because you sound dumb. But Freeze Blast! You an idiot. I'm sorry, Freeze Blast, for uh, that. It's a butterfly. Yes. What an ugly butterfly. It looks like a moth. It's probably a moth, let's be honest. I like this whole butterfly effect thing. Right. Yep. But isn't my story? Ooh, Ooh the butterfly changes. I don't think it does. I think it's just how it's edited. Together. It still looks like a moth. <sighs> You're so picky. Mmm, lamp. You don't keep up with the memes. No, I don't. Moth is a big thing at the moment. I see. Oh, yes, it is, it is. Because moth loves lamp. Yes. Well, I don't like her already because she's an idiot. Come on, man. She's staring at nothing through wooden slats. Yeah. Who does that? You're so mean. you got to have a heart for these people. Ooh. Wait, they're gonna die already? Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Come on, she deserves it. Yet it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on Lyra. Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, M. <sighs> just because he's class. Teenagers. He belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, M. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. I'm already having trouble telling people apart, and there's far too many of them, so I need to kill some of them. Just based on Thanos' theory. Are you just trying to kill everyone? No. You're gonna start feeling for these people no, if another idiot. Just based on Thanos' theory, I have to clear some Anna. of these people out. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? I love Ashley's face there, she's such a derp. <laughs> I mean, I just. Aren't they a little she's... old to be playing hide and seek? Just this. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, baby. How you doing? What's up, Dad? Hey, did you see that? 
How could it just be us this weekend? Josh. Oh. Oh. Those pants are impossibly tight. I'm Beth. I'm walking around. Okay, now you see that shiny thing? Wait, is that guy dead? No, he's not dead. The shiny mean you can interact with it? Yes. So I'm gonna do that. Thanks for... Inspect that glint. Pick up the bottle, and then hit him with the bottle. Hit, hit him with the bottle. R2. Jeez, Josh. Smack him. Once again, Smack. brother, you've outdone us all. Oh, Josh. So Josh is a booze hound for some reason. Well, there's two of them that are booze hound. Woo! Something else I can inspect. Huh? This door's locked. Yes, yeah, so that door's locked. What an exciting game. You're a monster. Why? At this point in Spider-Man, I was fighting Kingpin. <sighs> Ooh, a thing I can pick up. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're... Oh, you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you go, go, Mike. God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Know, Who is she sister. talking to? She's talking to her drunk friend. He's passed out. He can't hear you. He looks like the guy from Shield. Maybe we should start with a little. I think it is the guy from Shield. Are you gonna talk over the top of all of this? There's subtitles. Oh hell yeah. Well, she did not. Oh, well, Jason's gonna kill her. Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's so all good. I'm just a stupid prank. Uh, oh, damn. You guys are jerks. You know that? I love Sam. She's Hannah. my favorite. Every time, all the time, Sam. Which one's Sam? The one that didn't take part in the prank. Oh, the blonde one. One of the blonde ones, yeah. Okay. Hmm. These do start to do time, so just tell me which one. Uh. Well, that guy's drunk, so he's going to be useless. Find the others. Okay. Yeah, these get time limits, so you'll have to make your decisions. Okay. Outside. What the hell? Yeah, two yeah. drunk guys are going to be useless. What? What's she ran out into the it's snow? Yes. It's okay, I don't care if she lives now. Joke. It was just a prank, Ham. It was just a prank, Ham. Why are you allowed to talk over it? Because that line is renowned for being Hannah. the worst line in this whole game. Hannah. Everybody knows After it. Her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. All right. So this is a quick time. You better not think. screw up. <laughs> I, I can't control the stuff. Yes, fucking girls. Safe. Why would we go fast? She's only been outside for like two minutes. Lame. No, you're trying to accelerate the action for some reason. She's been outside for two minutes. Also, shouldn't she be looking for tracks? No, she's just gonna run wildly. Yeah, that's a good idea. Follow the footprints. Why would I follow a random noise? I don't know. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a deer oh, thing. Run, do not go near that. Yeah. That will kill you. No, don't run towards it. <laughs> I'm that will kill you. They kill people. Jesus. Oh. Okay, I don't care if she dies anymore. She's an idiot. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Seriously, deer and elk kill people on a regular basis. Oh, she's got a phone out. Yeah, that's gonna help. Now watch this. Yes, touchpads. Those have existed for quite some time now. Yeah, but this was new when it was here. Hannah! 
Okay, we've quickly descended into stupid horror movie. Um, because yeah. why would you keep looking at this point? I don't know how to control this very well. I can tell. Also, I love the way the cameras. Are you controlling the phone? Yeah, see, the thing is, it's controlling my walking and the phone. <laughs> at the same time. I thought you'd watch playthroughs of this. I have. Then why are you still jumping? Because I've watched them just Hello? far enough away from Hello? right now that I can't remember how it goes. Right. Oh, what's this? I know what this is. I would not pick that up. Oh, I'm gonna. But it's clearly evil. Well, she did. So that's a death totem. I'll show you quickly. These are all the totems that you can get. Uh -huh. Death, fortune, lust, whatever else. And what do they do? So these are prophecies of what might happen, but it's how you play to determine what might happen. Right. And if you get them all, you get a picture of what happened in the past. So at the moment, if I press triangle, that's it. That's all I get. I get one thing. Right. So yeah. But since we pick up a death totem, it means someone's going to die. Someone may or may not die. Right. Actually, in this case... Someone's going to die. Uh... That's how you open a horror movie. You kill someone. Okay, we've really extended into dumb territory now. What, walking around on a frozen mountain? On our own. That okay, fire. Okay, there is fire spewing out of that, so why would you keep walking toward it? Because. I don't care if this woman dies there. Anna. Beth. Anna. No, they could both die. They're both idiots. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Yep. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. Yes. Yes. So dumb. Yep. <gasps> it's the predator. Well, that's was. cool. That would be awesome. <laughs> There's a horror game where you have to hide from the predator. Run! Okay, yeah, that's it. Run. run! I'm sure you went trip over it. Oh, look at that! It's almost like I predicted it. And you dropped your phone. Save these people. <laughs> wow, that, that goes with some upper body strength going on. Hold on. Uh. Uh. Let go. So he appears to be trying to help you. Assuming one or both of them dies regardless. Also, that guy was very clearly trying to help. Well, you're the one who let go. You could there was no option to grab his hand. No, there wasn't. There was an option to drop or both drop. Yeah, you could drop Hannah so that you could grab his hand. Oh please, that's not what it said. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Nice. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Cool. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Thanks, Doc. Hmm? Well, I'm assuming he's a doc. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. 
Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Okay. Okay. Make some decisions? Yep. That you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this. So we're about to learn a lot about my mind. Oh dear. All right. Ooh, I have a glove. Yep. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It made me want corn. Okay. Uh, happy? You're weird. It's just a farm. Makes me feel uneasy. In what it's way just a farm. It make you happy? It's peaceful. What? It's a farm. That's what farms look like. They have scarecrows. Scarecrows are only scary because people make them scary. What was the question? Would you be happy to be there all alone for a week? Yeah, sure. Maybe pay attention to what they're saying rather than, you know. What? Doing a let's play? Ooh, haunted. I wouldn't care. Uh, no, I just don't believe that ghosts are haunting that farm. No, I'm frightened of things. I wonder what it is that does frighten you. I really do. Your face right now is scaring me. Why? He's creepy. He's not. He's um. What's his face? Yeah, I know. He's in everything. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? Does this affect the game? Yes. Oh, okay. It all affects the game. Come on, man. I don't know. Keep I up. thought this was just like a psychological evaluation. It is. No, I've played games that just have psychological evaluations in them. That's weird. That don't affect the game. He's a weird psychiatrist. Okay. The game's actually starting now. Okay. Okay. So clearly the guy with the flamethrower wasn't a bad guy. He was trying to help us. Oh, death. And I was fine with those two dying, because they're both idiots. Okay. You're gonna be fine with everyone dying then, basically. Who runs into the forest like that? Oh yeah, I had an emotional moment! Teenagers. I'm gonna run into the freezing cold! Teenagers! Have you not met a teenager? I've met many teenagers. I was a teenager at one point. Oh, I find that hard to believe. It's true, I am an ancient. So this is your nice little intro. It's giving you little sneak peeks of... Hayden Pen... 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 Yeah, she's Sam. Pen... Yeah, yeah, Pen... Yeah. Yeah. Peter Stormare is the psychiatrist. He's the psychiatrist. Yeah. He was in, uh... uh, 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 uh I'm a Um, Rami Malek, you'll recognise when you actually see his face properly. I don't recognise him. I don't know his name, but one of these guys was in S.H.I.E.L.D. I can guarantee it. That would be, um... What's his face? Yeah, you see him in the Hydra. Okay. So I sort of want him to... You're seeing a bunch of clues here, but... Am I? I actually know this song so well because I've seen people play it too many times. Right. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and mm -hmm. headed out into a snowstorm. No play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Mm -hmm. He had warned them against pursuing their construction Why is she giving away so much information about the case? Sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the it's been a year, and it's a stick. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the also, ground, it's telling us what the girls themselves couldn't Yeah, she looks like a, a bizarre version of Hayden, tragic events. but not quite. Thanks for joining good. us, Andy. No, like she looks slightly different from her. Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. That's that's um. Hello, Robin Malik. Mr. Robot. It's beyond awesome to have you Robot. guys all back this year. I never um, watched the show. First off, I gotta say I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood winter getaway. Ah! <laughs> so, um, let me...
let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. Well, hold I really on. want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and um, oh, just share oh, some hold on. that what? we'll never forget. They went to this cabin last year, mm -hmm. for the and two of their friends just disappeared. Yeah, you know. So then okay. they go back again so, next year. Yes. Rather than Let's just picking somewhere else. Party like we're yes. I want all of these people okay? to die. Make this one trip. We will never well, forget. see. All right. Yes. They're doing it to kind of close the wounds. I don't know. Oh, that's dull. You can close the wounds somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. That guy's totally the hero. I can tell already. He's gonna be the hero of the story. And repeatedly watching or playing them over and over again. Yes. How many but, times have you watched Scrubs? Look, All Scrubs is through? a great Scrubs is a great show. Uh -huh. Up to the end of season eight. Anyway, we're on this. Chapter one. Friendship. Ten hours to go. This is so dumb. He's clearly the good guy now. I don't even. I'm not even scared of him. Can I not ruin it for everyone? I'm not not ruin. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm mm. guessing. This is Sam. Really, I couldn't tell. Sam's my favorite. Really, you hadn't mentioned that before. Hello. Wait, well, isn't Hannah dead? Yes. Is someone there? Well, she's not Hannah's best friend anymore then. <sighs> okay. Oh, this is so dumb. They don't meet each other when they arrive. I don't know. I meet people at the train station when I say we're going to meet up. These guys can't meet in the woods. Maybe this is what they did last year. Yeah, that worked out well for them. Wow, what? Gates busted, climb over. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Ooh, shiny. Really? Safe or quick? Safe. We're not in a hurry. I swear, if you fail these basic quick time events that are screaming at you, climb. I got it. This is all easing me into it. Really? Then why are you so shocked every time it happens? Because it startles me. So, uh, seriously, are there people that try and do that part quickly? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's fun. There's no rush. I'd do it quickly. Because it's fun. No. You guys are weirdos. Okay, let's go. You want me to get everything went through a lie, but at the same time, you want to rush when there's no rush. Aww. Oh, it's a squirrel. Don't touch it. You hungry? Don't touch it. That's a bad idea. You don't realize that I was just not moving. No, I, I figured that out because it said don't move. Also, that was a really bad idea. What was a bad idea? Beating it? Yes, yeah, squirrels have rabies. Yeah. What was that? 
That's just a thing. I didn't even get to see that. You jerk. So it shows you your current objective, and it shows you the type of person you are, and your relationship status with everyone. Right. There you go. So if you do something to pee them off, right. then uh, it goes down. Or if you develop a relationship better, it goes up. I see. What's this? <laughs> cool. Cool, I've never read this before. It's just telling you about the different butterflies. So black... Bro black... Prophesize dream is death. Red for dangerous events. Brown for tragedy affecting friends. Um, yellow for help. And white for good stuff. Right. There you go. I've been coming here for years. I've never looked at this before. You're the worst. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. I know. <coughs> what a you love this game, huh? It's not letting me pick up the totem. Okay, there we go. Let me pick it up. Let me just pick up this ancient totem that doesn't belong to me or my culture. Okay, so that was a bird. I couldn't tell. Yeah? I thought it was a giant butterfly with a beak. I'm so glad I'm here to tell you this. How else would you know? I wouldn't. I'd be lost without your guidance. Oh, sacred M totem. Do, do, do. I have to like not just automatically go to where I need no I need to go. What's this? The past is beyond our control. Ominous. Chris, are you here? Oh, that's good. Ooh, backpack. Backpack. It's a bomb. You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? And he left his phone. Phone's behind. buzzing. He must be dead. What is wrong with these people? They're teenagers. Or teenagers do not close bag or snoop. Close bag. I don't know that anything's wrong with him. See, we just affected the future. Mm. Sam, hey, you made it. See? If I'd been snooping through his bag, that would end up badly. He's got a crush on Ashley. Which one's Ashley? You haven't really seen her yet. Okay. Methodical protective humorous. Chris. The funny guy. Oh, so And he's got a stupid I haircut. Found something kinda amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? I gotta say, you're choosing a lot of things that the majority haven't chosen. What? Not snooping on each other? No, I mean the whole thing. Being cautious. Oh, what's this? Oh man, look at this. Nice. Um, you think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? So he's a guy who's wanted That's by it. Arsenal. Victor's the good guy. Calling it now. Victor's the good guy. So he's just a guy that they want because he's known for some arson or something. Yep. But I'm calling it. He's a good guy. I'm going to look for Victor and try and help him as much as I can. Ta-da! Right? What is it? What is it? We haven't actually seen what he's looking at. Beauties. Uh, beauties what? is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? Are they going to show what us? Or like, what the hell we're just going to guess from looking at it. A shooting range. Have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. Wait, where did he get the like gun from? Adams or it's just sitting there. Wanna try? Uh, no. There's just loaded guns sitting around. So now right. we're playing as Chris. Here goes. Awesome. It's gonna teach me how to shoot. You gotta be real bad at you it. You better be real good at this. My antique cans! My precious antique cans! It's a weird wow, nice methody thing. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. 
Stop that. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild cape in beginner's luck. Nah, That's terrible fire I'm safety. Yeah, well, the glass anybody go. in there Where did the glass come from? Also, you meant to call out in case anybody's standing downrange. Uh. Oh, a squirrel! I'm gonna shoot the squirrel. Am I? No, do not shoot the squirrel. <laughs> you don't kill something unless you're gonna eat it. Your ass just got sacked. That includes people. Hey, Sharpie, there you go, butterfly effect. Well, why would I shoot the squirrel? What sort of psychopath is shooting squirrels for no reason? I'm sure there's people out there who shoot squirrels for no reason. I swear, it should just come up with, you are not a jerk. You win the game instantly. You don't snoop and shoot random animals. I can't believe people have trouble with these decisions. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. I don't think I've actually seen anyone shoot the squirrel. Good. There's literally no reason to shoot it. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. That's creepy. That's weird. Wait, why is it creepy? I don't know. If they're sleeping in there, it's because they can't get anywhere else. Like, they probably missed the one bus getting in and out. They didn't want to freeze to death. Oh, real gentlemen. I don't know. Okay, I locked it again. Okay, let's have a looky-do. Let's look this way. Oh, cool, nothing. Let's Ooh, look this TV. way. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. Sanatorium for a healthy body and mind. How long is this gonna take? What a crazy I'm sure that won't come up again. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. They did buy a mountain. Ooh, more things. Huh? Huh? Some sort of surveillance camera? What else? What else we got? Nope. Nope, that's it. Looks like the thing's here. The thing? Finally. The thing? Come you know in. the thingy? No. Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here the cable car? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Get on, loser. Nah, like Chris. I was about to say, why is he a loser? Chris is a good guy. Also, you're controlling him. Yeah. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. Their what? movements are throwing me off a little bit. Everyone together on the yeah. anniversary. It's like we get 90% of the way through the animation, and then stop and load into the next animation. Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something. Don't point that out to me. Good. You won't be able to unsee it now. It's hard to tell with him. No, no, it was it was a good idea. Okay, yeah, one else good idea. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. Yeah, bro. You know you pick on Sam. Let's just stop talking about what happened. Brosive. Uh, you know what? You're right. Brosive. You know King of the Brosians. No. Third the worst. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. Don't and do the that. The teacher made him move to the front. Don't ever do I that. I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And. And next to Josh. That's how we met. What? That's crazy. To this day. A match made in heaven. If what a fascinating back, story that I've never told to my friend puberty, like, that I meet on a regular basis. Early, and on that day, decided to wear a low cut shirt that showed off the training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly. He's a ghost. Boom. He's a ghost. He Butterfly. doesn't exist. He died. He died years ago. Sixth sense. I'm not telling you how this works. It's a ghost. 
We should probably, um, call it. Wrap it up there in the creepy looking Jess. So this is Jess. She's Mike's new girlfriend. Who was his Let old girlfriend? Let me dish out the goss on you. Um, his old girlfriend was Anne. Emily. Yeah. My namesake, unfortunately. Alright, so I'll wrap it there and then we'll find out about Jess? Yeah. Alright, sounds like a plan. Sounds good. <laughs>